Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday morning, um, Central Time, about 7.41 a.m. Now, of course, the shirt I'm wearing today, this one is available in our spread shirt store if you uh, would like to purchase it. So I've been receiving a lot of emails about the particular picture that you guys saw that we had put up. And when I saw that, I said, what's going on with, with Brother Polite? I mean, now listen, let's talk about Brother Polite just a little bit. I don't know him personally, not at all. Um, I've never interviewed him here on the show. I haven't. Now, but I do know who um, Brother Polite is just over time. I knew he came out of the house of consciousness with uh, Sarnetta, and shout out to Sarnetta. And he became a speaker, doing a lot of debates, wrote a lot of books um, out there in New York. So he was one of the biggest promoters of saying the black woman is God and um, so on and so on. You know, a lot of pseudoscience that um, those in the conscious community uh, like to uh, debate about or expound upon. So I, I knew Brother Polite from that. You know, I've seen him do different interviews on Vlad TV and so on and so on. Now, from what just a, an outsider looking in, I knew that him and Sonetta had some difference of opinion. I don't fully know what it is, and I'm, I don't even care. It's not my business. And he moved over to California um, to the Hollywood Beverly Hills area. So, so I don't know what he got going on, but he was doing good for himself. And once he got out there, um, things start changing for him a lot. Pictures start showing up that I start seeing maybe early last year. Um, there was a picture that he had took with Kylie Jenner. And I said, huh, that's strange. Because if you heard Brother Polite's work before and his debates and um, the different things that he would talk about, it was looked at out of order for him to be taking pictures with Kylie Jenner based off of what he promoted, not what my expectations is because me, I don't have an expectation of people. I don't put people in a higher light than what I hear. And the problem with a lot of people is that you put human beings in a position in your mind that you think they should be based off of what they saying. And then when they're human and they let you down and make mistakes and fail, then you get genuinely hurt, you get upset, you get bothered, etc. So I've learned that long time ago, especially going to church, you don't put people in a light like you deitizing them in a way. You don't do that. But if somebody is greatly contradicting their own message, it's good to ask questions and say, hey, okay, what's going on here? Because you're saying the black woman is God. This is what you say. But then you over here with Kylie Jenner, and then he um, starts saying things to black people about they're broke and all this other stuff while he's taking pictures with, um, you know, I think uh, I think he had a Bentley or something he was taking pictures with. And a lot of black people saying, what happened to him? He's like, he didn't change. He's not the same anymore. And you know, from what I was seeing, I said, man, that, that Hollywood getting to him, you know, that, that money, whatever money he getting is getting to him. You know, his, his clothing, you know, start changing that he used to wear, um, and everything. So I say, well, you know, some people can't handle money. It's just the truth. Some people keep their sanity or keep their self-respect when they don't have a lot. But one thing Deion Sanders said a long time ago, and I saw this, um, when I watched him speak, he said, money only make you more than what you already are. So the money that he got a hold to, I don't know what he's doing. That was already in him to do that. If it's in you to be who you are, money's not going to change you. It's only going to enhance who you are. So this is something that he always wanted to do because money itself don't make you do a thing. You just have more access to do certain things. So this picture that we have put up came up. And the reason why it's something that I wanted to speak on is because we as black people, and I'm going to say, especially black men, we are supposed to be the leaders in the community. We are extremely colonized. I think this current generation of black men are more conquered than I ever seen. 
And I grew up, you know, in the 80s, crack epidemic, 90s, you know, the gang, uh, really gang epidemic was bad in the 90s at one point in time. Those, you know, those of you who grew up in my time period know what I'm talking about. A whole lot worse um, than what it is today. The little few cities they talk about, uh, nah, it was worse. Trust me, pretty bad. You didn't really see different things like this that you're seeing today with the conquered mindset of the black man. The Caucasian supremacist system don't have to worry about black men. I can see that. They don't have to worry. They're good. That's why the few black men that come out speaking, you got to neutralize them. You have a good thing going. You get all black people's money. You got black people's love. No matter what you do, you can shoot them in the back. You can beat them up. Um, you can steal from them, disrespect them everything in the world and they still love you. They still will fight to be with you, fight to be around you. You have, I mean, really Caucasians have a great thing going with black people. You get $1 trillion a year from them and they will fight like hell to give it to you. And any black person, they say, why don't we spend that with ourselves? They'll crucify them. They'll find thousands of ways not to spend money with black people. Say they have poor customer service, say the prices is too high, but yet they still go to Asian owned businesses that have high prices and they still spend their money with them. They go to white owned businesses um, that can have poor customer service at Walmart or whatever. No, you don't say you haven't experienced that and you'll still go back. You won't say I had a bad experience at Walmart with a nasty attitude cust uh, cashier and I'm never going back to Walmart. But that's what you'll say about black people. All oh, black people don't have something in stock. A Caucasian business can have some, not have something in stock. You still go back. You won't say a word. So black people are extremely conquered. So any black person that's trying to open up the eyes of those conquered people. Yes. I understand why they are a problem for the Caucasian supremacist system. I get it. Trust me. I, I'm just thinking about it on the area of money. And I got a good thing going because I can think like that. I can definitely step outside myself and look at things for really what it is. Okay. So we know that this group of people have stolen everything from everybody. This is historically accurate and this is factual. It's not me being mean. We could back that up. We know they've stolen from the native American. We know they've stolen from the African. We know they are still from uh, Mexican culture, Asian culture, Arab culture. They steal from everybody's culture and then get mad when you call them out on it. But one thing about all these different groups that I'm mentioning about them stealing the culture and notice that the men of those communities that I just mentioned, they're not taking pictures with a Becky and saying, can Becky wear Japanese attire? Can Becky wear Native American attire? Or can Becky wear uh, Arabic attire? It is a black man that decides to put this picture up with a post. And yet this black man is supposed to be one who put himself out there as conscious minded. Me, myself, as I tell people, never put me in any light because I don't want to be in one. I'm the media guy. I'm not an activist, and I'm, I make sure to tell you that. But I speak as an activist in my news reporting because um, the real activists have to be the, do the work. I have to be the watchman, and that's my position, the watchman. But this is very sad um, in, in a lot of ways, to, and I, I would expect more out of Brother Polite. That's what I'm going to say. I, I would expect more out of him due to the knowledge that he uh, had, because you can't revert to this when you actually had the knowledge. But let's go ahead and look at oh, what's going on with this t today. we got some problems going on. I didn't realize we had that going on. All right. So Brother Polite posted this um, July 13th on Facebook. And he put hashtag can Becky wear African attire? He said, all right, I know you may not like the fact that she is a playboy and model. Fine. Now, no one knew anything about the woman. Nobody. 
So he made sure to put that out there. It's been said how important it is to get back into African attire. Is it wrong to get the white woman in African attire? Will the black man get love for his influence or will you condemn him and call it treason to have Becky in African garb? Now, the thing is, Brother Polite know that everything he's doing is wrong. He knows it's wrong because he's asking these questions. Let me tell you something about black people. Black people, we know when we're wrong on a lot of things. We know. And when you have to constantly reaffirm, when you constantly have to ask or get permission from the black community for something that you're doing, then you know you're wrong. That's why you have some people, and this and this is why I have issue with those females more than anything. Uh, the female swirlers out there, they look. If you're dating a white dude or whatever, do it. That's your business. I, I I can't stop you. That's your you know. But the thing is, you got to trash black men to do it. You have to constantly tell other black people why you're doing it, why they should be doing it, instead of you just riding off in sunset doing your thing. You get what I'm saying? So he's doing the exact same thing. He know he wrong for what he's doing. Now, the reason why I say black people are conquered is these comments and that, and I'm going to say they just, you know, I'm looking at these comments. We're going to just look at them as, as such. Um, uh, Brittany Hall says, I've never seen a conscious of woke sisters hugged up. I don't want to read that. I want to read the black man comments. Uh, let me see. Cause I already know how to, Okay, one black man here says, well, the fact is blacks wear Tommy, Prada, Gucci, and Nike. What's the difference? <sighs> if you don't know the difference between Tommy Hilfiger, I know people still wear Tommy Hilfiger, Prada, Gucci, and Nike, what's the difference? It lets you know right there that this black man have no knowledge of self, no knowledge of culture, and you can relegate African clothing to Nike, do you see how conquered we are as black people? We conquered. There's nothing more that you can say about that. One guy, she bad as an MF though, LOL. Let's talk about that right there. Another reason you're conquered is because it reminds me of the old story of Samson and Delilah. And Samson was a very, very strong, strong person. He was the real life Hercules. And the Philistines could not stop Samson for no reason. They wanted to know the source of his strength, but never could find it out. So they sent Delilah to try to find out the source of his strength. And you know the story. Eventually, he told Delilah uh, what was the source of his strength. Uh, the Philistines ended up uh, blinding him and capturing him. And toward the end, he asked God for strength one more time so he can crush the Philistines, asked them to put him in, him in front of two pillars in the middle, I'm sorry. And God gave him his strength one more time. He pushed the pillars and destroyed the whole uh, Philistines and he ended up killing himself in the process. But what I'm saying is for black men, the Caucasian male, no, the Caucasian female is Delilah to you. And all he has to do is send Delilah to you and most of you will break down. And now the Caucasian male has a new weapon now, plastic surgery, because he knows that you rather see the features of a black woman on a Caucasian woman. So he will send women your way uh, with breast implants and lip injections and, um, you know, butts and all this other stuff. And he knows that some of the greatest among you will fall for that. Because black men, unfortunately, a lot of us are led by the head on our, in our pants instead of the head on our shoulders. Um, a lot of us have an inherent lust for Caucasian women. Let's call it what it is. It's lust. And it doesn't take much for you to fall. It doesn't matter that we're looking at Bill Cosby being caught up 40 and 50 years later uh, from some Caucasian females who just saying he did something, didn't go to the cops didn't have a rape kit done, nothing, but just to say, Hey, he did it with no evidence that you could bring up in court other than I said he did it, which every man in America should be concerned with that. 
because any woman can come up late and start doing that mess. Then California you start removing statute of limitations and all that stuff. Like you can see how bad it's about to get with that. Okay. Um, then they're using Cosby as a gateway to do it. So it doesn't matter about that. It doesn't matter about the history of all that, that at one point in time, brother polite would have been hanging off of a tree, uh, with his penis in his mouth for even being near this woman. Matter of fact, even looking at this woman, okay, he would have been that way. Cause that's how serious it was. That's why black people in the past looked on the ground a lot, especially black men. If you saw white women, you better look on the ground because if a white woman said that you made her feel, uh, threatened, just feel threatened, not touch her, feel threatened. You get your behind lynched. This is the history of this nation I'm talking about. We're not making this stuff up. So if you want to stay alive, you better look on the ground and not even address that white woman at all. But you know, the Caucasians gave you permission now to be with the Caucasian female and you just start going crazy. And the thing is you have access to all women, not just the Caucasian female. And it just amazes me. Like, I don't see you guys just going crazy for Asian women or uh, Hispanic women, Arab women, or native American women is still the Caucasian woman. And I'm, and it's a psychology to this of black men. I'm trying to figure this stuff out because, you know, in one instance we could say, well, you know, we've been indoctrinated with the, uh, Caucasian, uh, female, all our lives of black men. Most of the teachers that we had in, in school has been Caucasian female. Uh, we have a, uh, Caucasian beauty standard in America. So you see Caucasian beauty, uh, uh, people you see in movie stars, nothing but Caucasian females. But then I thought about it one day. Now, wait a minute. Hispanics are living in the same country as us. So why aren't they indoctrinated with the Caucasian female? They still are strong about their culture. Or what about Asians? They, they live in this country. They see the Caucasian females, they teachers just as much as we do. They have the same indoctrination just as much as we do. Why is it that they don't do that? Or why is it that Arabs don't do that? Cause this whole country, uh, indoctrinate everybody, not just black people, but everybody into a Caucasian supremacist system. So what is it wrong with black men to have us literally throwing away our culture, feeling that we could sell our culture away to a group of people that stole it anyway. They don't need our permission. I mean, I don't know why he's even asking this question. They've been doing the crap for hundreds and hundreds of years. You get what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. Let's keep looking, looking down. There's one woman says she don't like this Caucasian slut degrading African garb. She looks stupid and you look even stupider with her. You, my brother have hit a new low or well, a new level of low. I'm gonna have to unfollow. Well, she says she's going to follow. And, 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 and I understand why she feels that way. All right, here we go. Another person. How is it people complain about this, but say nothing about the countless women that walk around in a costume dressed like a prostitute wearing another human being's DNA as if it were an achievement. And I guess he's speaking about hair extensions, the hair extensions that black women wear doesn't come from Caucasian females. I think that's the most stupid argument I've ever seen. I have never seen a black woman put Caucasian female hair extensions in their hair. Like that's ignorant. That is so ignorant for the most part from what I know, they use Brazilian and correct me if I'm wrong, sisters or Malaysian for a lot of, for what I know. I've never seen them put, uh, uh, Becky's hair texture in their hair. That would look stupid. That it's not the same hair texture. And you know, wigs and hair extensions, a lot of that came from Egypt. If you do your research, but because you don't know anything, a lot of black males, cause you choose not to, you accredit everything to Caucasians and you let them accredit things to them too. And don't even tell them exactly what things come from. And then you say DNA. How can you put a DNA on someone's head? You can't put DNA on someone's head. I mean, it's the level of ignorance that this guy has in this, uh, post, but you talking about costumes and stuff like that. The thing is a lot of you brothers will praise a Caucasian female that's dressed just like this. Won't say a word, but if it's a black woman, you'd be going in on her, calling a, uh, slut whore, 
Um, all the things that you will call black women, but this Caucasian female can dress like this and you're going to praise this chick. I'm just saying we, this, we, this, what we do as black men. And once again, the Caucasians gave you an opportunity through their laws to be with whatever woman you want to be. If you're not going to be with a black woman, but you will not st stay away from the Caucasian woman. This is one you going to go after, right? So look, one, this is a guy's an idiot. This one here. If we want to become big globally in the market, you sell to everyone. Y'all be talking hella bad about white people, but still buy their stuff. Stop that and think bigger. So yes, you do need to sell to everyone, but you don't sell your culture to everyone. Once again, I don't see native Americans trying to sell their culture to everybody. Why will a person respect your culture? If you cheapen it to the point that you want to sell it, that's the issue. I feel we're talented enough to come up with clothing lines or whatever else that we want to come up with as a black people to sell to everybody. Why does it have to be our culture? Why we have no respect for that. And I'm curious if some of the replies to that. Christina said, when did a white man who supposedly has pride in his race ever have to need to want to use a black model in order to get sales? Is it about our people or is it about money? Either way, this is a choice and not necessary for profit. Thank you. Because when these uh, Caucasian clothing lines that y'all are referring to Prada and Gucci, they don't go get a bunch of black people to model. The Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbells of the world are far and few in between. They don't do that. They get a bunch of white people to model their clothing lines that they create for themselves. We as black people do this. Now, if he wanted to do this, I don't even agree with that dress that female's wearing at all. I think it's despicable for this female to wear this. Like, it's utterly despicable because those of you on Patreon that saw my daughter's prom dress, it was, you saw it. You know exactly what my daughter's prom dress looked like. That was beautiful. She got so many compliments, even from African women when she went to prom and her dashiki prom dress. It wasn't slutty looking or whatever. But to see this mess, I mean, this is horrible. And it doesn't even accent her skin right. It doesn't. It, it don't look right on them. I mean, it just don't. It looks stupid. And look, look, this guy, he's still defending the comment. Y'all can't play that game when you probably got everything or almost everything from a white person until you stop supporting them with your money. You have no argument. Black buy from whites all the time. People who are against that are most likely agents. Really? Because businesses to sell to everyone, group economics is to build our own. This guy is all over the place. Don't know what the hell he's talking about in his comments. He don't. He wrote down later. The question is, when are we going to start by black? I mean, they, they, they find it every rationale to defend that. Every rationale. Look at that. One is supposed, supposed to be, I guess, a Hebrew Israelite. We wear European clothes every day, all day. I don't care about what people wear. I'm just tripping off of Mr. Antichrist, anti Bible, pro black. I already know, uh, knew what was really up. Well, you know, if you want to talk about it, so you equate clothing to the original Neanderthal. Africans were wearing clothing long time ago before they came up. If you really want to talk about clothing, like I, I don't. Oh my God! It, it just amazing to me. I guess I guess oxygen comes from the Caucasian too, right? I guess we breathe in oxygen. Then we should give praise to them. I mean, Jesus Christ! I mean, you see how conquered we are as black people. We are conquered. We are conquered people. That's why the Caucasian men ain't got nothing to worry about. For what? We we not gonna get. We not trying to come together and do nothing. All the Caucasian male has to do, even if he is losing his power, is just release 
women like this to a bunch of those guys and he will keep the Caucasian male in power. One sister right here says, as an intelligent black queen who loves herself and cares about her people dearly, I don't have time to engage in buffoonery like this. Clowns will be clowns. I thank God that Dr. Umar has more sense than this. Uh, queens rock with kings and leave the peasants to humiliate themselves. Okay, here we go. One sister here say, just sleep with the girl uh, and go. You don't need anyone's approval to do what you want to do. But what you should omit attempting to do is convincing us that these are the moves for the day. Do you? Who cares? She looks dumb and you sound dumb on this note simply because this is in strict contradiction to what you teach systematically. But whatever. I left religion because I can think for myself. I can ignore this too. Exactly. There you go. Well, see, well, well, see, the thing is, I'm reading one comment. He said, you're a man. You like, um, I guess, vagina no matter what. I get that. But you black men are conquered because these females do nothing for you. And, and, and understand something. If Polite didn't have the, the resources that he has now, that female would not be nowhere near him. Because if he was broke, a regular broke black man that don't have nothing, is rubbing two nickels together, that Caucasian bottle blonde female, because she's not blonde. I mean, you can see her roots. That bottle blonde female that's full of plastic surgery would never get around him. You black men, a lot of you are stupid. Any woman would be around you, of course, when you have money. I know this, okay? It doesn't matter about the race. But some women would never talk to you. And we as black men give Caucasian females a pass. We do. We let them get away with stuff. We let them say different things. And we will shame black women in a minute if we, they did this accent. Look at how y'all was reacting to black China last week or so with the Rob Kardashian. A lot of y'all was defending him and attacking black China. Now, I'm not a, a fan of that woman at all. Or what she do? I don't like that sort of thing. I think it's despicable. I think good women need to be promoted. Not the kind of women like black China. That's just my opinion. But you guys don't see error in this. You don't see that this black man is posting his picture is conquered. And, and if he don't realize he's conquered, then I don't know what else to say. One person says this is doing nothing for the culture or advancement of our people. Brother Polite, you and Umar run amok for no good reason. I'm so confused. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, there you go. So one person said this is the same type of black man out here telling sisters to be more respectful of themselves, to carry themselves classy and not horish, etc. But Becky can be a playboy hoe and get called amazing. That's pretty much what it is. You can't, you can't really re refute that. Okay. There's one person calling them out. How can you be a prophet? I don't know. If, I never heard uh, polite being a prophet and having so many material things, man. Well, I don't have an issue with material things. I have an issue with material things. Having you, uh, y'all in words are funny. Y'all probably with playboy models and hang with rappers talking about, uh, trapping and you conscious. I am mad at you because whoever believes your BS needs to be pimped. Uh, that's all you're doing, man. Pimping. I respect your hustle though. I mean, it is some people saying who cares? Jesus Christ. Here we go. One brother. We can't knock a woman who is white sport in African clothes. We wear all white brands every day. We can't turn our nose up at her because she's trying to sport black. We don't even sport our own. I'm, I guess he meant pro black, but what is it? Hold on. What is get? What is, I guess getting mad at her going to help us? Hell give her gear. Jesus Christ. 
and knowledge and let her spread that to whoever she knows. Oh my God. Black people ain't doing a good job. Uh, if it with all these churches and Jesus saves BS spread the work. However, Oh my God. Did you hear this black man? This black, I mean, this is black men. Jesus Christ. This is the black men that we have to deal with in our community. They have no idea or clue about culture. They're comparing brands that's not even made here in America that Chinese are making and Taiwanese are making and Vietnamese is making and Mexicans are making because not even American uh, white folks are making the clothes. They're comparing clothes, t-shirts to culture. I mean, are we this dense as black people, especially black men? Are we this dense? You see replies to that idiot's comment. That guy's an idiot. One person, I can't co-sign that, bro. So we don't support us, but she wants to buy African clothing. And so we get, I guess he's been mad at this post. I like white people want to learn outside their culture. That's a good thing. <sighs> Boy. He think this woman, for what she's wearing, want to be a part of African culture. If she really wanted to be a part of African culture, let's, let's say, let's just play devil's advocate. Then she would understand that, you know what? I can't wear that like this because that's very disrespectful to the culture. I'm not going to do this. That woman don't care. She wore that. He probably paid her to take that picture to wear that. And that's all it is to it. This woman's not out here trying to join no group to save your black behind. I want to see the next uh, black person that's shot by these race soldiers in California. I want to, I bet you she's not going to be nowhere near fighting for you. Black man. What you, they're never around. They're never around. Hell, when you getting beat up, when you got Caucasian friends, they'll let Caucasians beat the, you the hell up and kill you. Look what happened to Bakari Henderson out there in Greece. So you friends with them, they're not going to defend you. Why in the hell you think they're going to defend you now? Like you think like, ah, ah my God, Jesus. I, I get frustrated. I get frustrated just my, as myself, you know, as a black man to realize how conquered we are. You know, my, my homeboy said this, he said, Phil it's going to take about at least another 50 years. And I'm going to use his words. He said, it's going to take another 50 years for these niggas to die out in our community for it's anything to be fixed. He said, Cause these current ones are crazy. He said, they, they lost. He said, they lost beyond loss. And he said, you talking about the men. And he said, then the women is just screwed up because the men screwed the women up. So we have a whole, we have a whole section in our community. That's why I say it. I say this and I will keep saying this. We have to have a mass separation in our community period in order for us to tackle uh, racism and this uh, Caucasian supremacist system. We can't deal with the masses in our community and you don't need the whole community to deal with them either. Trust me, you don't. I feel, and I'm gonna keep saying this only 20% of our community understands only 20% of our community are ready to make moves. The rest of them, no, the rest of them want to be comfortable in this system. The rest of them um, don't want liberation at all. They don't want to do for themselves. If Caucasians today had a law and said, you know what? We're giving black people a few states go over there. They will fight like hell not to go. They will cry. They will beg. They will plead. They will protest. They will do everything they can not to go to a state that they say, Hey, this is your own. You can have it. We're not gonna bother with you. You know, we're gonna stay out your business. No, they will be doing that. Why? I'm an American. And they, I mean, you get what I'm saying? This, this is very, very disheartening in a lot of ways. But for me, I understand what the work that I have to do. Right there. What Courtney said this is true. Just because they are wearing it, doesn't mean they appreciate the culture. There are a lot of black people that wear African attire and she's just wearing it as a fashion statement. Look at how her, well, you know, is hanging out and wearing heels. Doesn't scream. I appreciate the culture, but just trying to grab the attention of some of the weak minded black men. Exactly. And she got it too. She got it. Those black men are salivating over that. 
salivating. Yeah, Andre, yeah, he said he said about the Neanderthal. I agree with you, brother. I mean, it, it, that's exactly what it is. But the, you you can't get mad at her though. That's my thing. Why do you think I'm not going in on her? You have to look at the black man that's promoting that. Okay, you got to look at the black men that's propping her up. I, I haven't read a comment yet from a black woman that's respecting this and propping this woman up. It's black men that's doing this. And we are the leaders in the community. Now you see why our community screwed up. Now you see why we can't get nowhere. Remember, black men is going to be the biggest fighters against those who want to fight for the liberation of the black community. Black men going to fight against that. Because they want access to this female. Now it's about 10. They're not going to get that female. Only a black man with money get access to that female. Because your average everyday black man is not going to get nowhere near this, which you see in this uh, picture. Okay. You're going to get a bad built one a lot of times and you'll be happy with her. It just is what it is. Well, yeah, you talking about the Japanese kimono? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they're not gonna have some some uh, Caucasian female, even a black female, with a Japanese kimono with her breast out and all this other stuff, just making it look like a a whoredom. They're not gonna do that because they respect their culture. They respect it. I don't know why you're calling this man a false prophet. This man is not a prophet. I don't know which y'all define as prophet, but that's not it. I don't know, there's an aerial talking. Huh. Is she is she Caucasian? I need to see his for a minute. Oh, interesting comment. Oh, I'm glad I'm reading this. This is from a Caucasian female. This just looks like clothes to me. See? Right there. She just said it looked like clothes. She the reason why it looks like clothes to her, because we as black people haven't established to respect our culture so much so that the whole world will know when they see that, okay, that's African attire. I'm going to respect that. So that's why it looks like clothes to her. She said, maybe the one on the right is what is, what he's talking about. I'm honestly asking because she's turned funny and I can't tell what type of clothing it is because if he's just referencing the fact that he thinks, black women wear skimpy clothes like the ones she has on all the time. He is placing more value on the amount of clothes that woman or black women wear than what's inside their minds because you can be both smart and wear tight clothes and be a boss. Well, as you say, I don't care what you say. Obviously, uh, it's a cultural specific thing. No, not without paying respect and learning about the cultural significance. It is different if you're wearing something to appreciate the culture, but if you are renaming it, changing it and calling it a new trend, obviously it's appropriation. It's about respect and how you go about things. Well, so far from what I, I'm, I'm reading, it seems like she has, she's starting to understand a little bit what's the problem. Her clothes are fine. At least on the left side and the blue, share your culture. Don't let anyone remake your culture. Date who you want to date, and for the love of everything, stop pitting white women and black women against each other and dragging black women who want to date white men when you're doing the same thing. Oh, black men, she called you out. She called you out. I can't I can't say nothing about that. Caucasian females calling you out. Love who you want to love. My God, if it wasn't uh, even about 50 years ago, we could even legally decide to love and marry interracially. We have such a big issue with racism in the U.S. right now. Rising up together to spread the Black Lives Matter message should be everyone's main focus. I would say, though, if Becky doesn't support Black Lives Matter, then she doesn't support you, and you don't need that kind of white woman in your life. Other than that, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a white woman saying that. If Becky doesn't support Black Lives Matter, then she doesn't support you and you don't need that kind of white woman in your life. That's a white woman telling y'all that listen to that. 
A white woman told you this. Listen to that. She said, I'm going to repeat it again. If Becky doesn't support Black Lives Matter, then she doesn't support you. How many Caucasian females have you heard get upset about Black Lives Matter? Just as much as the Caucasian male. She says she don't need that in your life. They say, other than that, love whoever, but don't put down women of color in the process. Man, now she, see, now, now she even said, love who you want to love, but don't put down black women in the process. It's a white woman telling y'all this. A white woman. She basically said this. If that white woman is not going to help your community or fight for your causes, or make your life better in using her privilege, then you don't need that kind of white woman. A white woman told you that. She also told you don't put down black women in the process. Love who you want to love. I think that's one of the best comments it, it's, that's, that we, I read. It doesn't matter, Edward Norton, how someone looks. Just because something look good doesn't mean it's good for you. I mean, but I think that's what we can look at that enough enough, but my thing is this, um, I think the last comment was the best comment personally, that that's how I feel about that. I like that. I don't support that. The dress that she's wearing, I don't support that at all. Um, it, it's not respectable for the community and we feel that we can just sell out our culture like that to anyone. Um, then that's why no one's going to respect it, period. Well, for for, for me, I, I, I'm reading these comments. I'm looking at what you're saying, Sister Ajali, and that's not even what I'm going to. I mean, of course, we know the black man didn't, didn't put GMO foods. Um, we, we know that the black man didn't put the radiation, the black man didn't create uh, poisons and uh, diseases to kill people off. He didn't drop atomic bombs. I know he didn't do all that. That's not even the issue. I, I already know the uh, evil that the Caucasian society has done to the world. I get it. I know how they ruin the planet. I get it. If anybody get it, I get it. What I'm saying about us as black men that we are conquered and this is why our community don't change. We are so conquered. We will fight so hard for this woman in this photo, but we won't fight hard for the real things in our community, like these race soldiers killing us every day. We fight over colorism. We fight over just a lot of silly things that we fight over. We're very, and unfortunately, tribalistic in America, and we get nothing done. I mean, instead of him worrying about posting this picture, why isn't he using his influence to help out the community with these race soldiers? Why can't we all come together and put a stop to that? Every freaking week I'm doing videos, these race soldiers doing stuff to black people. We have a lot to come together about. This little silly stuff that, that he's doing or other black people are doing is not helping us at all. You see how adamant we'll get and fight and fuss about stupid things like this. And people rather say things as, you know, oh, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. I don't like this person's opinion, that person's opinion. It don't matter. At the end of the day, what are we doing to help our children? Our children are being educated in the system that wants to put them in prison. I just brought a lady on and talked about a study that how they treat black girls. Of course, black children in general are treated bad. We're not trying to solve those problems. That's my issue, the bigger picture. But it also starts on the small scale as well. 
I think it's utterly wrong to cheapen your culture like that. And that woman isn't doing it. She's doing it. Why build black black people if we don't even like our if we don't even like our people? Um a lot of people a lot of people don't like other black people. I agree with you on that. But you have to get with like minded people. Well we have to no, I, I can't when it comes to this brother here, I have to say something. Cause I would expect somebody to say something about me if I was doing the exact same thing. I promise you they would say something about me if I did the exact same thing with this dude did in this picture. I would hear it. I'll get emails. And I saw a post from him saying that people was even threatening him. Now I wouldn't go that far with the situation. I would just say, Hey brother, this is some messed up stuff. If he correct it, he correct it. That's how I feel about it. If he choose not to correct it, that's on him. That's why I go with the situation. I don't get, uh, that silly about something like that. I just disagree with you, make my point and go on. Cause we got other things that we need to do. Well, sister, Ashley, listen, in my position, I get tired of, of saying this and I get that a lot. I speak in a, if the shoe fits, wear it. I hate having to say, well, not all, of course I don't mean all, but a, a good amount of the brothers in our community, not all are subjugated or colonized on a good day. And it's evident in our community because we're not even fighting back as a collective against the system. Like the brothers and sisters used to prior to the civil rights movement, how they stood together and fight against this system. We, if you look at it, the brothers really wasn't on the forefront of black lives matter either. There was a bunch of black women. And then, you know, it wasn't the strong, uh, alpha heterosexual male that took the leadership in that. So yes, we have a problem. We have to call that out. And you think it, I like saying those things? No but it's a reality that we have to deal with within our community. We have men in our community that don't know how to be men. We don't know how to take care of families. A lot of us, not all of us, but a lot of us don't. Some of us don't know how to fill our resumes. Some of us don't know how to fill our applications. Some of us don't know how to take care of our finances. And that's important things you need for families. Some of us don't realize that you don't live underneath the skirt of a woman. That's an issue too, for a lot of brothers. If we the leaders, I got to speak to the leader, how men are supposed to be spoken to. I'm not going to address men. Like I address a woman. It's just not going to happen. A lot, a lot. I saw a video. Someone sent me, they asked me to review it about this brother, uh, walking up on his girl in the nail shop in a Walmart. And they only had $17 in their account. I'm watching the video and I was on his side like a hundred percent until one thing this female said to him. So they don't have no money in the account. And you know, I say, see, this is how black we spend our money as black people. We spend our money on impulse instead of paying attention to what's the really the deal because it, the $17 was just in the account until they got paid the next week or two. Right? So she's upset. She says she feels she deserved her nails to get done. And that's a big issue in our community because we spend money and we don't really need to be spending money. We're spending at times until she said, well, we would have money. If you would have a job, why don't you ask this man for a job? I said, Oh man, I said, my, I shook my head when I heard that. And she was going in on him about, about how he wasn't working and she was working. And I, and I just, I say, you know what? He lost me on that. He lost me. Now I'm not saying you can't get laid off. Been there. I'm not saying you can't get fired. Been there. But the fact is that, we as men have to have to take care of business. It's no, your, no girlfriend of yours should be getting you a cell phone. No girlfriend of yours should be uh, providing a car for you or a place to stay for you because the moment you piss them off, they're going to kick you out. They're going to tell you, oh, it wouldn't be for me. You would have a phone. Wouldn't be for me. You would have this. Wouldn't be like, they quick to tell you that stuff. That's why as men, you don't live underneath the skirt of a woman. I was raised old school from black men. And that I feel that's the only mindset that works. This new age raising don't, don't amount to crap and look at where we at today in our community because of it. Mm. 
men, men, the old school brothers knew how to take care of their family. And they wouldn't have no woman telling them about a phone or a car because they provide their own phone, their own car, their own house, their own everything. They paid the bills. So like I was told, a man provides a house, a woman make it a home. Listen, you can talk about, look, I don't, I don't give it. I, that's excuse to me. That's an excuse. I just read you say, well, they left us because of the feminist movement. Well, the, the fact of the matter is you can keep talking about that. That has no bearing on what's going on today. I mean, at least in that time period, brothers wasn't doing what they're doing today. They, they really wasn't. And yes, the unemployment for black people and black males are always going to be high because the Caucasian male is in control of a lot of the jobs. So he don't want to give his direct competition and his enemy employment for the most part. He don't, he rather give the black female uh, employment over the black male. Yes. I understand that. That's why it is important for us to choose careers that no one could deny us a job period. It's also important for us to get education that we can eventually create a business and create a job for ourselves so we can do for ourselves. Because I was reading in that, like I said, that book message to the black man uh, by Elijah Muhammad. Don't only go to school for yourself or go to school for your people. Get a trade, not only for yourself, get a trade for your people. Because the, the end goal is to create something for yourself. That's what it is. These people at the end of the day, they're going to look out for their people first, not you. There's a lot of Caucasians in rural America right now. They lost their manufacturing jobs. They lost their coal jobs. Now they're starting to lose their retail jobs. When these uh, rural um, Caucasians start coming to the city, because eventually they will start coming and they have been moving to the city. They're going to try to take the jobs that you're getting. They're going to take care of their people first. They're not going to take care of no one else. So you need to create an economy for ourselves. But feminism, like I said, feminism don't work. I, I, I get that feminism isn't for us. And it wasn't for us in the beginning because that is a, um, the Caucasian woman with her man situation and the Caucasian female needed feminism because, um, racism always breeds sexism and oppression. That just happens period. Um, the Caucasian male has never wanted the Caucasian female to have not even a right to speak up. You know, he used to beat the hell out of her all the time, rape slaves, do all kinds of stuff. And nothing can be said because she's a woman and the hardcore, um, Caucasian nationalists, they want that time period back. Yeah, I agree with you. Feminism is the uh, Caucasian females uh, Ku Klux Klan. I agree with you on that. Um, well, listen, I've I've met other groups of people who could be bigots. Yes, but other groups of people can't be racist. It's totally different. You got to have power to back up that. Anything more than that is bigotry. I could say I don't like a different group of people, but I don't have the power to back that up. I can't create a law to back that up. For instance, Caucasians with the Bill Cosby situation, right? They want to get Bill Cosby. So they freaking uh, change laws or statute of limitations in California just to try to get at you. See, that is someone who has the power to get at you. Black people don't have power. Uh, Hispanics don't have the power. Asians don't have the power. Arabs don't have the power to systematically create laws, deny, imprison you, kill you and get away with it. They don't have that power. All they can say is I don't like you that, as far as it can go, go with their power. Okay. I mean the ultimate power they may have is to harm you or, or possibly kill you, but they don't have a systematic power to do anything against you as a black person when it comes to these other groups. The funny part about other groups being bigoted toward black people, whoever else is all y'all fighting for the same crumbs. You don't get the, the meat of the table like the Caucasians get. And that's the, that's stupid. You got people fighting for a crumb. I want the crumb. No, I want the crumb. You know, it's, it's stupid. Why don't you uh, look at everything and say, forget the crumbs. 
let's go ahead on and take that that meat from the table and everybody can divide the meat up I'm not bugging for nothing show me show me what group of people who can control laws those other groups of people don't control the law It's like, can we say so we can discuss whether it's okay for white women to wear African clothes? Like, like, look, at the end of the day, if they choose to wear it, I can't stop them. That's their money. If they want to spend their money on it, that's them. If I see them with it, I'm like, okay. And I go about my business. I mean, shoot, they have appropriated everybody's culture. I mean, come on, we know this. But my thing is, isn't about them doing that. My issue was, this brother saying to it's okay. And then the guys it is. That was my issue with it. That's it. That's the only thing I was saying about the situation, guys. And no, I don't expect everybody to agree with me. I don't expect everybody to agree with my positions or whatever. Because a lot of my positions aren't for the twenty first century in a lot of ways. And I'm really t- tame in some of my opinions, much as I could be, on some things. But I am more harsh on on the men in our community. If we get ourselves together, we could unify, and then we could fight the real beast that's trying to destroy not only us but destroy the world. And yes, God is helping to uh, reduce the influence of the uh, Caucasian male. Yes, God has increased the power of the sun. Yes, we've known this. Uh, things that they have done to the earth is catching up with them. And God's green earth is fighting back. Yes, I know this. But it wouldn't be for God fighting back at them. We wouldn't be doing nothing because we weren't about putting a Playboy model in uh, a dashiki uh, slut dress. That's what we're worrying about is black people and defending that behavior. I mean... We just have too many things to worry about. So Brother Polite said, can Becky wear African attire? I don't agree with it personally. I don't. I think pe- people need respect it. Just like you wouldn't catch me wearing what Native American men wear because I respect their culture. I wouldn't wear what Japanese men wear um, in traditional garb because, hey, it's not my culture. I would look stupid. How is it that any other group would look stupid wearing somebody else's culture, uh, cultural clothing, but we accept when everybody else wear ours? That's what I'm saying. We, we don't respect our culture. We don't respect our people. We don't respect anything at all. Okay, uh, peace, Sister Ajali. Um, like I said, I know we may disagree on some things, Sister. I know we may disagree. Um but I, I just had, you know, we just had to say something about this. And that, that's just all. Because um, he posed a question. He put it out publicly. And, yes, there's other pictures he took with this woman, but I don't even want to get involved with that. That's not even the, the big deal for me. I just more, focus more on don't try to convince the black community that this is okay and we should be able to sell our culture to everybody and no one respect it. Create all the clothing lines you want. Sell it to everybody. I'm a f- yes, you're right. Sell it to everybody they want to buy. But when it comes to our stuff, no. Can we have something to ourselves? That's it. Can we have one thing to ourselves? One thing. One. Why our culture have to be the culture that everybody takes from and nobody respects? That's all the thing I'm saying with the situation. That's it. That's it. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for joining us on the show. Um, we'll put up the interview finally of uh, the one we did in Fort Worth, and um, we'll definitely see you next time.